Hello, Blue Devils. Welcome to our first edition of PD with Ms. Haverkamp. And you're here to learn about some new tech in your free time. Hey, and here's your free time, right? That's sad. Anyway, here we go. So why use a QR? QR stands for quick response. That makes sense. If you want kids to go to a website and get there quickly without mistyping the URL, a QR code is a great use of technology. It can save you time because you can record instructions or directions or anything you want, link it to a QR code, and then the kids can listen to you over and over again because they don't listen the first time. It can make web quests easier. You can put all your websites behind a QR code and then the kids can link to them. And it can give you a reason to partner with me. Yay! First, you need to choose some content. Anything that you can find on the web, you can link to a QR code, including cute little videos you make of yourself. It can be a website, a painting, uh, directions, a movie clip, a photo, a document, um, a calendar event, a location, all sorts of cool things. So how do you make a QR code? You go to a QR code generator. You can Google one, or you can use one of the ones I have listed here. Um, GoQR.me is super easy, and I figured it out in about three minutes, so you can do it. Want more information or ideas? You can check out any of these websites, which are also on the flyer as QR codes. Hey, there are your resources. Um, or you can uh, come see me and we can make a plan. And if you watch this all the way to the end, if you come to the media center and you're one of the first five people and you tell me you saw me in a cowboy hat, I will give you a treat. So I hope you enjoyed your first PD. See you later.